Hi, I'm Steve from Yamaha, and I'm here today with Absolute Music to show you the new Yamaha Montage. Okay, here I've got the Montage 7. It's um, available in the 6, the 7, and the full-on 88-note weighted action. Uh, it'll be with you in May. Um, what I'm here to do today is to give you a very brief introduction to Montage, and then I'm going to play loads of sounds, okay? So what we've got here is the um, successor to the Motif. It hasn't got workstation functionality. Let's get this out there straight away. It's got a very basic song recorder on there, but it's all about the synths, okay? It's got two synth engines. You've got your AWM sampling from the Motif, but this time it's about eight times more sample memory in there than we, we last had in the XF. Um, combine that with an FMX engine, which is brand new, eight operator, 88 algorithms, seven spectral forms, both engines of 128 note polyphony, stereo polyphony. Merge it together, you've got 256 note polyphony and up to 32 inter effects all running at once. So it's capable of some huge, huge sounds. Yamaha have brought to the table a couple of new things. You've got motion sequencing, which is kind of like um, step sequencing uh, and automation in your DAW. It lets you record um, LFOs and lets you put little patterns together, which you never would have been able to do with a, with a sort of like a live instrument before. And I've also got this lovely glowing super knob, okay, which is kind of like a macro, and this enables me to control all the other, um, all the other assignable uh, knobs over here all at once with one, one sweep. It's super editable and enables me to have loads and loads of control from what I'm doing live. Um, said it doesn't have sequencer, but what it does have is awesome, awesome um, inter integration with your DAW and your computers. It's class compliant, which means you can plug it straight into an iOS device or your PC and Mac. Works without drivers, not a problem. And it also gives you um, 16 stereo outputs and three stereo returns from your computer or via one USB lead. So in effect, you can have um, a dry vocal track, a dry drum track, or a guitar track, which you can then feed, feed through here, process using the internal effects, and then feed back out via one of the 16 stereo channels, um, all without latency, all without burdening your computer, or via one USB at the same time as a MIDI. So very, very cool. We've got a touchscreen for the first time in a Yamaha Pro instrument, as well as it being full on aftertouch. I've got mod wheels, ribbon controllers, um, continuous rotary controllers over here. Uh, it's a, it's a, a live and studio um, dream instrument, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some playing, all right? Kick off with the uh, acoustic piano, which is something that Yamaha are very, very proud of. About three times bigger than the last Motifs piano and like super expressive. Okay, um, I've got a touchscreen here, as I said, and I've got my live set already programmed, which is kind of like a master mode, gives access to all of my sounds, uh, and I've got, for the first time, seamless sound switching. Okay, so I can go from one sound... ..to another sound without it cutting out. And that's because of the power. 32 insert effects. It's always in multi 16-part mode, so yeah, it's really, really fantastic for live. So let's go through some more sounds, okay? Let's go to my Rhodes Gallery, okay? This gives me access to what something new again. You've got scenes. So here I've got four Rhodes sounds and the hammer action, all assigned to different scenes. So I can play.
Okay, so that's your Rhodes Gallery, and that's just one sound out of 1,900 presets. Okay, so there's loads to choose from. Um, Whirly Gallery, same sort of deal. I've got my sounds assigned to my scenes here. easy to get access to your sounds uh, live. Um, moving through the sounds, okay, so we've covered a bit of a piano, a bit of electric piano. Let's have some. Okay, so that's giving it a bit more of a, a bit more oomph. Demonstrating the super knob here. So this can control multiple parameters. Okay, so with this sound it's controlling the filter and the cutoff as well as the portamento time. So I'll give you an example. Good thing about the super knob is it's also controllable from FC7 foot pedal. Okay, so get my balance on. So it's pretty useful live as well. Um, motion control, okay, I mentioned earlier, this is kind of like your automation. So this is a great sound, gives you an example of what's going on in the background. Okay, so you've got like a 303 kind of squelch. Quite cool, but listen to it when you hold it down. loads and loads of messy sort of stuff going on there. So that's motion control synthesis. Okay, looking through some arpeggios. So I've got one that demonstrates beautiful sort of AWM sounds and FM to get combined. Um, you've also got side chaining now, so I can take the audio input source or a source from any of the other 16 parts and I can apply side chain to any other parts. So for example, I could chuck a kick drum, um, a mic inside a kick drum and have that to then um, uh, apply a, a compression to what I'm playing. So great for playing pads and synthes live. So for example, this one here is a, like, a, like a basic trancey pad. <laughs> What I've got is a side chain applied to a kick drum on channel one. So I can now go. So you can hear the ducking effect. Really useful live. So now when I'm playing, I can actually sort of be in sync with the rest of the band. And also you can use it to map the tempo as well. So I can take a, uh, an input from an acoustic drums or from a digital drum or from an MP3 drum loop or anything like that, or even a click out of Ableton Live or Cubase. And I can assign that to the tempo here and um, I can get it matching. So yeah, it's really, really cool for, for live. On with the sounds. Okay, so I've got beautiful, beautiful padded CFX. This gives you a piano sound um, and FM pads as well. So pretty sweet.
really powerful. Uh, I've got my touch screen, so I've got down a different page. What have I got? So I've got all the typical sort of Motif sounds. And on Motif size, you've also got all the Motif XF sounds in here already. And it's also completely backwards compatible with all of your sounds, your voices, your performances, your songs. So great for Motif customers who want to upgrade and get more engine and more power. Okay, on with some of the FM sounds. This is a big, big, great sort of killer sound, perfect for demonstrating the FM. Um, again, give you a good, a good example of um, some of the more orchestral sort of stuff and how the supernova is used to control it. I've got a sound here which is choir, strings and pipe organ all combined. So I've got, got choir down below, got strings there, and I've got organ at the top. And I can merge between them. I've got some preset banks, okay? So I'm just gonna run through a few different sounds and give you some more ideas about what's going on, okay? So I've got motion control banks. some FM sounds, okay?
Okay, we've got a question on the uh, Absolute Music Facebook page from Azander Fox, who's asked if it's possible to uh, let arpeggios play root notes for a bass part whilst playing a chord at the same time with one hand. Now, um, not wanting to go into huge amounts of detail on here, but this is always in 16-part multi-timbal mode, so you can have loads of different arps assigned to loads of different things. So, what we've got here, for example, put the arpeggiator on. So I can play a root note, I can program it to have a root note on the bottom. So that's just one example. So yes, I could have a strings part playing here, and I could have a, a drum arpeggio or a bass arpeggio playing down here. And because it's 16 part, I can have up to many, many different arpeggios all running at the same time. So I hope that answers your question, Xander. Okay, that just gives you a very brief introduction to montage. Okay, you've got 1,900 sounds built in. You've got space for 2,000 user sounds. You've also got 1.75 gig of free memory to put your own WAV files in. So. Um, a very, very powerful and fantastic tool for live and for studio. Thank you.